Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Certification VCP6 Data Center Virtualization Training Video and this is the 17th video of this series and in this video I am going to show you how to create VMware cluster and enable DRS which is basically distributed resource scheduler on VMware uh, cluster so so just check out first the my demo environment so we have five virtual machine here as we are using in our last few videos the first one is win 2 12 dc01 which is my active directory server here you can verify my active directory and dns role is installed on this server let's verify my uh, computer name which is win 2 12 dc01 and my domain name is victorinfosol.com and the second one is my vcenter server here you can verify my vcenter server uh, I have installed my vCenter role on this server and also I have installed like vSphere web client and vSphere uh, client on this machine so this is basically my vCenter server and the next one is we have three ESX hosts ESX 01, 02 and 03 and you can verify the all is running VMware e ESX i 6.0.0 version so here you can see the whole thing together and all the three ESX hosts is mapped with my vCenter server under data center DC India and we have two virtual machine as well as on our uh, two ESX host so and the last one is my uh, I Starwind virtual SAN which is installed on my physical machine and I am getting the star uh, learns from Starwind virtual SAN to my uh, to my all the ESX hosts you can verify here LAN 0 and LAN 1 and LAN 2 is coming from ISC Starwind ISC SHAN so this is the all the infrastructure which we have here so I'm going to create my cluster here and going to enable the DRS for now so let's do that uh, to create a cluster we have to select our data center here uh, on which you want to create the cluster so I want to create a cluster on my DC India so right click and just click on new cluster and we have to type the name of cluster like I want to put here prod hyphen cluster and for now I am going to not going to enable the HA which is basically detect the fails and provide the rapid recovery for virtual machine which require a reboot for a uh, virtual machine and here you can see the uh, for the virtual machine running on cluster core functionality include hyper uh, host and virtual machine monitoring and minimize the downtime but so uh, heartbeat cannot be detected so this is basically reboot the machine so we have a separate video for HA configuration and testing so for now I'm going to uh, turn on the vSphere DRS which you can see here vSphere DRS enable the enable the virtual virtual server to manage the host and arrange pool of the resource cluster resource like dividing the virtual machine group and users and virtual machine so everything so what what the DRS uh, does as you can see from here like distributed research scheduler so it will uh, once we uh, uh, enable the DRS DRS will take care about the like load in our cluster on ESX host and it will distribute the resource on all the ESX host which is available under the cluster so we are going to do this now right now so enable the DRS click next and we have a, a, a DRS automation level so uh, vSphere DRS what level of automation do you want to, on cluster to be used so manual means vCenter suggest you m a migration recommendation for virtual machine partially virtual machine will be automatically proceed on the host power on and we will uh, and VMware will suggest you to recommend the virtual machine movement so I am going to use the fully automation which is you, here you can see the virtual machine can be automatically placed on the host when powered on and it will be automatically migrated to uh, the best host basically so here we have a migration threshold so I'm going to put it on aggressive so um, the uh, 
the highest priority so apply all the recommendation v center will apply the recommendation so it will uh, whenever we uh, uh, drs calculate uh, the load and if any anything required to balance the load on drs on cluster so it will apply the recommendation all the recommendation by itself so go with the aggressive most aggressive and fully automated so click next and we have a power management option here so for now I am going to leave the default one we have a separate some videos on DPM setting and power management so leave it for now go with the uh, default one option and we have also um, we'll check the e e EVC uh, on another video so for now just leave it and we have the swap file policy for virtual machine so uh, I want to go with the store the swap file and the same directory as virtual machine have so basically this is recommendation from VMware so I'm going to use the recommended way for the swap file and now if you click OK then we, we you are able to see the cluster will be created within the following options so the cluster name is a uh, prod cluster DRS is enabled and we have the uh, automation level for DRS is fully automated and we have the uh, most aggressive apply all the recommendation and EVC is, is disabled and the swap file location so good to know and click on finish so now you can see the create cluster is running and cluster is created now and now what we have to do uh, if you go here just close this window and you are able to see we don't have anything like no host nothing is uh, added on cluster so I want to put my all the three ESX hosts on cluster so uh, this is the very simple way you can uh, drag and drop the ESX host in cluster so I'm going to drag and drop my ESX host in cluster so here you can see put the all the host virtual machine in a cluster root resource pool so yes I don't want to create any pool for now resourceful so go with the default one and click finish so now you can see move the host in a cluster and the host is moved in the cluster you can see and same I'm going to use with the second ESX I the default although I want to on the root folder and for the third ESX host as well as So what we have done, we have created the cluster and we have moved the, all the three ESX hosts in on our cluster. So let's check out the now properties of cluster. So we have a vSphere DRS is enabled and we have total number of uh, host 6 and total number of processors 6 and data store and we have a virtual machine and template, two virtual machine and we have one template. So here's the thing. And you can see the all the information is here. If you click on DRS, and you can see the history. Click. We don't have uh, nothing happened on DRS. So to just click on on the summary page, you can see the like uh, fully automatic, but the load is imbalanced. If you click on view resource chart so you are able to see the resource chart because we don't have any load on uh, right now on ESX3 and what we do just do one thing let's migrate the ESX to, uh, like just migrate the our VM2 on ESX1 also so we have both virtual machine on running on ESX after a moment then we will run the like DRS so move it migrate and select the change host and move to under the cluster we want to move to ESX01 priority hive click on finish so moving the virtual machine now
so now you can see the both the ESX uh, virtual machine is running on our ESX one only so if you go on cluster you can see the load is imbalanced and if you want to see the distributor chart so we uh, both the ESX uh, virtual machine is running on the same uh, host so here is the information and if you want to see the memory you can see the memory as well as so what we'll do we are going to run the DRS now and let's see if DRS move any virtual machine so nothing will happen for now and now I'm going to do one thing I'm going to put the shut down the server two and once this uh, will shut uh, open a, sh a power on the server will uh, able to see the what will uh, DRS will do with this virtual machine and where it's going to be placed so just so here you can see the I think DRS is try to do migrate the machine here So leave it for now and now you can see the machine is powered off and now what I'm going to do I'm going to do for now you can see the both machine is running on a61 and I'm going to power on this machine and let's see where the machine is now you can see the registering and unregistering is done for this virtual machine and after the power on you are able to see the power VM2 is running on now uh, on ESX3 because of DRS he's just moved the virtual machine from ESX1 to ESX3 and if you want to see the history of DRS now you can see the DRS action on history page place a VM02 at ESX3 uh, so this is done by uh, basically DRS move the move the virtual machine across the the, um, across the available ESX host in cluster uh, to balance the load of the cluster so basically this is all about configuring and creating the cluster and enabling the DRS and cluster so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye